Hello, in this video, we'll be talking about how to use the new MyCap feature uh, recently implemented into uh, general REDCap usage here at NYU Langone Health. It's a tool that's really meant for creating a patient or participant facing mobile experience for really health tracking style data collection. So the study participants can log in daily and enter their data or even more than daily and enter their data. It will be stored in a REDCap project. Uh, it's recently been added up here under the main project settings, and I currently have gone ahead and already enabled MyCap on this project since it does have to be approved by the REDCap admin. Uh, it's usually pretty quick, but I did want to just have that so we didn't have to wait for the video to start. Uh, but it is a little bit different than surveys and longitudinal in that it does uh, require the settings to be enabled by the admin. Also going to go down to online designer where I've already built two questionnaires. It's important to note that the first questionnaire in any given MyCap project cannot be enabled for MyCap. You have to have done some amount of data collection and creation of a record before you're able to create the MyCap form. So here I've got a basic form where we're collecting name and email. So we could think of this as just sort of general personal information that we're collecting about our study participants. And then I've already enabled this for uh, for my cap, but if this was the first time, we would see a button that says enable for any questionnaires. When I enable my questionnaire, I can go into brings me to this my cap settings page. Here we can name what the form will be on the user's uh, device when they see it when they go into my cap. If we want it to be a questionnaire or a form, I've got a few branching logic questions in my form, so I'm going to do it as a questionnaire. And a questionnaire in MyCap will mean that each question appears its own screen before continuing on to the next question. So if you want people to see a percentage complete or a chart view. Going down, perhaps we want people to be able to do retroactive completion. So perhaps, a, for example, if we had a form that was a sleep diary, we might want people to be able to go in and fill out yesterday's information. If we want people to have a save and complete later, including an instruction step. So when they go into the device, there may be instruction information. So here I've said, please fill out your questionnaire after each meal. And we might give more information under content. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes, so not too important that it really be descriptive here. And then going down, how often can they enter data? So it may be a one-time thing. It might be something that they can do infinitely. So maybe multiple times a day, as in the example of meal tracking. It might be repeating. For example, every day they might go in and track their sleep. Or it might be fixed for certain dates. If there's any delay from when they are entered into the study to when they can fill out the form. And then if there's an end date for the questionnaire. So I'm going to go ahead and say save changes. In the next video we'll talk about this app design feature.